Huh? This ain't nothing new, it's what we been doing. This, this ain't nothing new, it's what we been doing. What we been doing. What we been doing. DJ Loki. All right, check it out. So this is what happened on this door here. This particular piece here that's lanyarded, it just comes right here. It just snaps in, snaps out. You just pry it out with a plastic pry tool, as you've seen in the deal. There's two bolts that hold the door onto the door, along with the uh, actual compression clips that go around the back here, right? So what you saw me doing that was taking a long time, this is the door latch right here. And it has like this bicycle brake style clip here. And it's got these, this compressible clip right here that goes in this hole right there. See that hole? Put my finger behind it so you can see it. It'll, that's the hole. And uh, so that's what was happening. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pull this insulation off and I'm gonna figure out how to get the door handle all the way off of the car. It's already coming off, you see? It's already coming all the way off, right? But I wanna get it all the way off the door. I'm gonna have to take the control switches off. Everything's coming off and then we will uh, go into figuring out how we're gonna get this uh, color change done. But uh, we're gonna cut you back on when I set up my next location. All right, so here we go. This is the part that I need to take out of the uh, car. And This is the part that I need to take out the car. And it looks like it's permanently put in. So I'm gonna have to make it unpermanent and then I'm gonna figure out later how to put it back in. But I'm sure it's something some epoxy resin can't solve. I'm already thinking that that's the way that I'm gonna run with it. Um, but we're gonna get to that and I'm gonna cut you back on. back on but it was permanently put on in the first place so I'm not gonna make it so that it can be removable again I'm gonna try to put it back on there so that it's permanent I'm gonna take this leather off of this here and so these are wrap pieces or what I'm gonna call wrap pieces because they're not really designed to do anything but get glued on top of something so you see this style line this style line is all I care about really I mean, I'm gonna trace it out and get it as close to this uh, shape as possible, but I'm really not caring about how much because I'm just gonna glue it down with contact cement and, um, and try to make sure that this seam makes it to these two spots on the panel. And so, and then I'm gonna wrap it and cut it to fit and all this other stuff and, um, and make sure that it, it looks the way it's supposed to look. The same thing goes with the uh, the armrest for the door, the door handle. It's better to need material and not, or have material and not need it than to need it and not have it. So basically I'm just gonna get a piece, two pieces that are oversized. This style line here, 
I'm gonna make sure I make that style line or this scene that they wanted to be shown and that I want to keep showing and then I'm gonna wrap it I'm gonna lay it over and make sure that it fits around this piece snug tight like a uh, OEM and that's what's gonna happen and then after that we're gonna go into reassembling the door of course I still have to paint the vinyl on the door that's still on the door and I got a mask and all that other stuff but that's to come later but we're gonna work on these two pieces first then we're gonna get into there so here's the rest of this handle got to turn that black and uh, there we go that that's what's gonna happen so check the time lapse <laughs> So here we go. So got this all done. Got that all done. Got this done. And last but not least, we got the main panel. We got to assemble. <coughs> Time to assemble. Excuse it. <coughs> so we got to assemble it. So that's what's about to happen. Is we're going to assemble this thing.
whole lot of stuff that happened off video, off film, and so I'm gonna try to like, clarify things up. Like, so I don't, I'm, I'm not sure if I said this already, but I might have. But this door was made to not be taken apart. And, um, I took it apart. So I'm gonna have to epoxy like all the tabs that I, because it was like basically it was like. It, if we were gonna think about it, it'd have been like if this deal here was stuck through a hole and then you melted it down to widen it to make it not be able to come out of the hole again. That's how it was done. So I just chipped away the widen part and pulled it back out of the hole. So now we're gonna epoxy it in back into the hole and uh, make it permanent one more time. So that's what's about to happen. Um, like I said, this is how it came together. I think it came together real nice, real nice. Not bad for an amateur. <clears throat> but anyway, we're about to get the uh, I'm, about to, I'm about to get the parts put together and then I'm gonna start getting the epoxy ready for it to all come back together again. I'm gonna have to cut some of this away like I knew I was already. But I'm not gonna talk much more. We just I'm just gonna work. to the table because it was a little hard where I was at in the chair but these tabs right here coming through those are the ones that I had to epoxy they've been epoxied already I'm about to sandwich the uh, I need to mix some more epoxy and sandwich it right here and I got to throw some in there in between and all on these spots where it used to connect at because now it's just kind of going to be like a smashed on I don't know I have, might have to throw some weight on top